many years ago, 1979, when ITC has established the paper unit in the backward areas of Badrachalam forest, uh, we didn't have too much of raw material and ITC started a pioneering farm forestry program and tried to generate our own raw material. And today, thanks to the efforts of ITC, Andhra Pradesh is sustainable and only wood surplus state in the entire state. All the paper mills all over India would come and buy wood from Andhra Pradesh today. And uh, I can say proudly that ITC played a stellar role in that. Once we realized that what is happening with the recycling of the paper, because paper is part of the civilization. As we, as we progress, as the civil society gets more and more wealthier, purchasing power goes up, our paper consumption will go up. And uh, in most of the developed economies, the raw material, the key fiber, uh, is not entirely virgin fiber. It is partly recycled fiber. And recycling of fiber is achieved through varieties of means in different countries. And this is more cultural. And uh, the recycling in India is abysmally low. And in many developed countries, if 70% of the consumption comes back to the paper mills, in India it's less than 20%. So we looked at this situation and we looked at the garbage which is which is generated by the urban, urban cities in India. And we realize that a lot of paper is going in. Apart from paper, there is plastic, there is metal, there is foil. You know, there are a lot of other things which are going in. Uh, we are paper people. We looked at paper and we said, hey, so much of paper is going into garbage. Can we do something about it? And uh, this is just a graphic to you about the paper demand, uh, notwithstanding the clamor what you see all around by the tech companies that paper is environmentally unfriendly and don't use it, don't print this statement. I mean, we at paper industry have a very serious reservation on this statement. Paper is a, is a forestry products industry and forestry products, whether it's a farm forestry or a natural forest, it supports economy and it's a sustainable industry. And we don't think that pixels are any more greener than paper. And reading a newspaper is much more environment friendly rather than reading newspaper on the computer. And for the next 20 years, there would be tremendous school enrollments. You know, as our economists and the policy makers strive to bring a lot of people out of the poverty of this country, education is the key. And you would see more and more people from the underprivileged sections of the society enrolling for the schools. And much before you can provide them an electronic tablet, they would need a notebook. Without a notebook, they won't be able to enjoy the fruits of the you know, civilization and the development. So paper demand will continue to grow. And it would grow still in the developed, I mean, the global paper demand is about 350 million tons. India is about 10 million tons. 